Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. So I'm back with a new cool machine learning project. So in my last video I showed how to build a face recognizer and today I will show you how to build a color recognizer in Python. So this is another project that we will build together. I hope you'll enjoy it and let's begin. So I will start by sharing my screen with you. So on the left hand side I am sharing the article that I published on Medium. And on the right hand side, you can see the code editor that I'm using. So this is my code editor and this is the article that we will follow. So, as you can see, we will go down and in this post, I will show you how to build a color recognizer and it's a computer vision project that we will do and here I also shared the other articles I published one of them is detecting faces the other one is recognizing faces so if you have time you can feel free to check these articles too so here we are building a face recognition project. So let's get back to our color recognition. Here we have the table of contents getting started. So before me before we move to the libraries, I want you to install three libraries that we will use. One of them is called NumPy, the other one is Pandas, and the third and the most important one for this project is called OpenCV, which stands for Open Source Computer Vision Library. Let's move on. So here I use PIP install. So if you go to your terminal, so this is my terminal. I've created a new environment called deep so here all you have to do is type it install numpy pandas opencv python so as you can see since I already have those packages it went so fast but for you it may take a couple minutes for it to install these libraries. After the installation process is completed, we will go back to our code editor and we will import those libraries. How are we importing? It's easy. We just use import numpy as mp, import pandas as pd, oops, And then finally, let's import CV2. CV2 is the OpenCV library that we were using. Let's move on. So now we have to define the image that we want to use. So here is the image that I will use. So all you can do is save image. If you want to use the same image, if you don't want, you can feel free to find a different image. Here. Here we are adding uh, the line to find the image we just installed. So let me go to the image first let's find where we downloaded the image ok 
Okay, add some downloads. I will go back here and then I will find the folder I'm working in. So this is the folder. I will go to downloads. Here's my image. Let's go back. Paste the image. Let's rename it color image. Perfect. So we have the image already. Hmm, about the file format. Okay. I'm going to change it to JPEG. Perfect. So let's keep going. This is defining the image. All right, here is the fun part, the more programming part that we will do. So, something we need to download is called Colors CSV file. So I just shared the link with you. So here is the file that you need to download for this project. It's called colors.csv. What is, uh, what do we have in this file? We have the color names, and then we have the hex, I think it's called hex values, and then we have the RGB values of these colors. So we need this file to find the colors in the image that we want to use. I hope everything's clear so far. So I have this image already in my folder. As you can see it's over here. This is what it looks like. So we will use that file. Okay. We are going to copy this lines. Let's paste them. Here we are. We are reading the CSV file. We are adding some header so that our CSV is understandable. Let's move on. Here we are creating some global variables. We will need these when we start working on the application. So just copy and paste. And then here we are. We are going to define two functions in this program. One of them is to recognize the color. The other one is to define the mouse click. So we want our program to show us the color name after double clicking double clicking on the area like we want to know the color so let me show you actually a quick video what it looks like so this is the final version just to give you some idea so I go to an area I just double click as you can see, you can see the color name and the RGB values of that point. All I'm doing is double clicking. Yep, that's a quick demo that I shared. So let's get back to our functions. Color recognition function. So let's copy that. Let's paste. So I hope everything's clear so far. All I'm doing is getting the code. So in this function, you can check the line by yourself, but what it is doing is trying to find the nearest color using those RGB values. So it's, it's trying to, if you heard of can something called KNN, like K nearest, uh, what was it called? K 
KNN classifier. Yeah, K nearest neighbor algorithm. So that's what it what it is happening here. So that's the way we are finding the nearest color that matches those three values. So three attributes, the RGB attributes that we use are G and B. All right, so we have those two functions. Let's move on. Perfect, we are almost done. So here we are adding the method by CV2, which will open a new window, like the one I showed you in the video. And then we'll add this line right below, which is another method to define the mouse click function that we just created, as you can see. Perfect, let's keep going. Alright, here we have the application loop. Let's create a new line. Perfect. There you go. So it starts to work when F is clicked. Okay, there you go. All right. And lastly, we have to add these so that we know. So this actually goes inside the loop. So when we press the escape key, so this 20 is for escape key. So when we press escape, the program is gonna stop. Otherwise, it's gonna keep working because we used while one loop, which means infinite loop. Perfect. And lastly, this is to destroy all the windows. If you worked with OpenCV before, you should be familiar with this process. All right. So, yeah, here I mentioned that I will be creating the demonstration video, which is what we are doing right now. So I will share it on my YouTube channel where you will be watching this video. And thank you for watching also. I will keep posting weekly projects like this one, so feel free to follow me and to subscribe. Thank you. Perfect, so we will go ahead and run the project that we just created. So I'm in the project folder right now in my terminal. This is how we run a program, Python, color, so recognition, that's the program we just wrote. I'm gonna go ahead and run this line. There we have the application working. So this is the new window that we just created. So, do you wanna see how it works? You find the point and then you just double click. As you can see, you will get the color name and the RGB values of that color. Isn't that cool? Pumpkin, radical red. This is so nice. I really love this application. As a person who likes graphic design and art, it's really cool. Oops. All right, so that was all for this week's video. And I hope you're staying safe during these times and working on cool projects like this one, which gives you some personal development and investment on yourself. So I'm happy to 
help you if you need any help feel free to reach me I will share the contact link below in the description and I will also share the articles link where you can find the article and yeah you can also follow me on medium so if you want to keep uh, learning about this kind of machine learning, Python, deep learning projects. So, and thank you all for your support and for your nice comments I received in my previous videos. And yeah, that's all for this week. See you in the next video. Until then, Goodbye.